you have a motorcycle? Do you love money? Do you love making money from your motorcycle? If you answered yes to any of these three questions, stay tuned. Hold up. All right, so pretty much you all do know I have two motorcycles. Unfortunately, they're both sitting right behind the camera over there. Sucks, but don't worry, I have just the answer for you. So there's a new business. It's pretty much an Airbnb for motorcycles. It's pretty awesome, I know, huh? So introducing the one and only Rider's Share. Yeah, there, there, there it is. Anyways, uh, Rider's Share. It's pretty much a new business that it started off. Uh, this guy named Gurlio, Gurlio Cor, Corneo. How to pronounce Corneo. Names.com. Pronounce names.com. Cornejo. Cornejo. I, I thought you say it. It's Cornejo. 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 Ooh, I like that. Cornejo. Anyways. Cornejo. The, okay, okay, I get it. Cornejo. Alright, so there's a guy named Cornejo. And Do we have the correct pronunciation of your name? I don't know, what do you mean? All right, so it's a guy named Cornejo, and he created a new business. Sorry, I can't pronounce names really that well, but Cornejo, Cor I can't roll my R's, Cornejo. All right, so pretty much I have this all typed out, what I'm gonna say, and I'm pretty prepared. So Cornejo was sitting in his Fort Worth apartment in Texas, and if you don't know, I live in Houston, and Fort Worth is about four hours that way, so pretty much uh, he was in his apartment nursing his broken hand that he sustained in a motorcycle accident. The injury cost him thousands of dollars, and yes, my, my accident, if you haven't seen it, link down below, Check it out, that cost me thousands of dollars as well. Multiple thousands actually. Not just 1,000, but like multiple, like actually 60 thousands actually, if you don't know that. Um, yeah, so he he injured his hand and cost him thousand dollars in medical bills, depriving him of the opportunity to buy a new motorcycle that he has that he had his eyes on. He had no alternative but to start looking into renting a motorcycle. As my hand healed, I knew I had the urge to ride as soon as possible to get the adrenaline rush, he says. And I'm pretty sure he, Cornejo doesn't talk like that, but that's how I'm gonna, Say his name. Oh, by the way, this is like a article I'm reading. So yeah, if you don't know, I'll link the article down below too. You can read the whole thing. So Cornejo had no other option but to start looking into renting a motorcycle. And those fools damn near cost a hundred, two hundred dollars a day. Two hundred, yeah, two hundred dollars a day. I don't know about you, but I'm I can't pay two hundred dollars a day to rent a motorcycle. That's that's like you might as well buy a new motorcycle. You know, like <laughs> actually, he has said that wasn't an option for me. Not with thousands of dollars of medical bills. <laughs> I don't know why his act changed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I figured I might as well buy a new one and make monthly payments, Cornejo said. As he continued to search for alternative ways to renting a cheaper motorcycle, he couldn't find anything. But suddenly, as he glanced out of his kitchen window, he saw his neighbor's motorcycle. It dawned me. My neighbor is at work and this is his I don't know why his hand's still broken. My neighbor is at work and this is his motorcycle sitting outside not being used at all. I sound like Trump. What is this? And I don't have to go props to you. Starting your own business, that's like a that's a huge role, huge step you gotta take. And props to you, this guy. Like honestly, if you don't know anything about Rider Share, go ahead and look in the link below. Check it out. It's this guy started this from the ground up all by himself. Props to you, man. Really hard. So Cornejo did further research and found out that motorcycles only get ridden about three to four thousand miles a year, while cars go twelve to fifteen thousand miles a year. And actually, that is kind of true because on my motorcycle, I've had it for two years now, and I've only ridden it for about four thousand three hundred miles now. And I, I go a lot more than that many miles in my truck than I do my motorcycle. So yeah. So like I said before, this is an Airbnb for motorcycles. So pretty much how it works is you rent out your motorcycle to other random people that you don't even know. So. Yes, most of you are probably thinking there's a huge risk in this. Why would I even do it? But to minimize the risk, Ryder Share actually says, quote unquote, he uh, to minimize the risk by renting to riders only 25 years or older. Why are there so many cars driving by? Can you not drive by at the moment, sir? Oh, it's a bus. Great. All these kids are about to come out. Wait, listen for all the kids. Ready? Dominic, bro, come on. Bro, Dominic, come on, man. Bro, Dominic gave him something, man. I don't know what he gave him. So like I was saying before, to minimize risk, uh, Riders Show only rents motorcycle riders that are 25 years or older and have been riding for at least three years. So unfortunately, if you're under the age of 25, you can't rent a motorcycle. But here comes the good part. You can actually rent your motorcycle. So I'm actually 19 years old. I can't rent a motorcycle, but since I have two sitting right there, I can actually rent one out. So the way it works is I don't have to be 25. I can still rent, I can still give you my keys for someone that's 25 years or older. So you see how that works. So let me explain how you can make the 
All right, so this is my laptop. That is actually Cornejo right there. Cornejo, say it right. Let me go ahead and click on Write to Share. Write to Share. Oh, that's not. That's my list of everything. Uh, write to Share. No, 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 no. Right here, share. There it is. Right here, share. Oh, motorcycles. Haha, <laughs> cool. Anyways, all right. So this is ridershare.com. It's pretty much a website where you can rent a motorcycle or list a motorcycle. And obviously, I can't rent a motorcycle because I'm not 25 years old. But I can list a motorcycle. So this is how you can make money. You go ahead and click on that link, and it says, you know, the steps that you're taking and everything. But I'm just gonna kind of narrow it down for you. Pretty much, you select the bike. I'm gonna say a Yamaha FZ. Oh God, that went down fast. Yamaha. Uh, select a year. Uh, my year is 2015. Select a model. FZ07, your license plate. I'm just gonna put 1111111 for now. All right, so the reason I like this so much is because you can actually pick your daily rental rate. And you have a very expensive bike, you can go ahead and rent it for $100 a day. But if you have like a mediocre bike, and my FZ07 is not the best, you can go ahead and rent it for $50 a day. I'm not saying the FZ07 is the worst, it's one of the best bikes out there, but you can rent it for $50 a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 50. And now you can pick your phone number. I'm gonna do this, 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 this. That's my phone number if you wanna call me. It has a U and an O in it. Go ahead and drop five pictures right here. Let's pick my best pictures. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one picture. That's the picture I chose. This is the one right here. Oh, pretty nice, whatever. Okay, anyways, so now you scroll down. Obviously, the more pictures you have, the better, but you scroll down. Description of your motorcycle. This is awesome, bro. It can get, it can get you some girls and you put a little winky face all right there you go so that's your description and then your referral code might give you something i don't know what that does honestly but besides that now you do motorcycle drop off and pick up location obviously you don't want to do your address because that gives you uh, a free will to come pick up your motorcycle so in my case people know my bike is here so i'm not gonna get my exact address i'm gonna do like the address down the street from my house so let me say bay brook mall there you go Bear Brick Mall. So you meet in a general public location with a bunch of people there. So the guy doesn't end up like stabbing you or some shit and killing you. Please select your availability. You come here. I'm available on weekdays, weekends, whatever day you want to do. I'm going to do every single day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. 11 p.m. sounds kind of late. So I'm going to go ahead and move that down to, let's say, 8 p.m. That's when the sun goes down. Uh, 8 p.m. and 8.08 p.m. Okay. So pretty much, you can rent my motorcycle from 8 a.m. to 8.08 p.m. If you go to 8.09, sorry, that's pretty much it. That's just being extra. And then you go ahead and hit submit. Obviously, my information I entered is not accurate, so it won't let you hit submit. All right, and that's pretty much it with renting out your motorcycle. You go ahead and wait for people to give you a call, give you a text, give you a little message. Hey, bro, I want to rent out your motorcycle. I want to do this. I want to do this. And you go ahead and be like, all right, dude, you can rent it out for however much you want a month. Bro, dab on it and whatever. All right, so now you're probably thinking, so what if the guy drops my motorcycle, gets into an accident, bro? <laughs> That's gonna be my other voice for people who ask questions, okay? Say no more, Rider Share the Insurance has you covered. They have a third party policy, they have a third party, part, third party, okay, let me, let me just read off this. They have a third party liability protection policy, well, wow, it's a mouthful to say. So it covers all types of damages from the renter. So the person that's like renting the bike out. Bro, but what if I have an aftermarket exhaust on my bike and he damages it, bro? Don't worry, they have that covered as well. So pretty much is they have a guy who comes out and looks at your motorcycle and sees all the aftermarket parts, sees all the bikes and everything. And they have a certain guideline they have to follow to see how much your bike is valued at. So let's say my motorcycle, for example, I have $9,000 invested into the bike. The guy comes out and looks at the motorcycle and says, okay, your bike is worth $5,000, but since you have an aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket braking clutch levers, aftermarket taillight, aftermarket uh, cage, everything on that, that increases another thousand dollars to thousand five hundred dollars to your bike. So pretty much that's how it works. With the aftermarket parts, it is a little bit um, kind of, it's a little challenging to get the actual user's value of it because they only sell them new. The best thing to do with the aftermarket parts, go ahead and keep your receipt. So let's say my exhaust right there costs $700. You're like, bro, insurance guy, this is my, <laughs> bro, insurance guy, this is my receipt for $700. The insurance guy goes, oh, okay, I, I got you, I got you. Let me pull my wallet. All right, here's a 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 700 that's for your aftermarket exhaust but since since you're nice and you ride motorcycles i'm gonna go ahead and give you 800 dollars just because i like you actually no that doesn't happen so don't yeah sorry about that um but bro what if he undervalues my bike and say it's only worth two dollars bro they actually go by a certain guideline such as blue book so they see how much the bike is actually valued at so theoretically if the owner pays nine thousand dollars for the motorcycle with aftermarket parts everything for all that you pretty much could get your nine thousand dollars back into the motorcycle so let's say bob over here is renting out your motorcycle and he's going and he's like oh look a squirrel and he like throws the motorcycle and completely just destroys it the insurance company could total out your motorcycle and give you your full 
$9,000 back and you can go buy a new one. So that's pretty much awesome, right? You might as well get rid of your old motorcycle and buy a new one. Bro, if the guy's riding your motorcycle and he just drops it, he doesn't have to pay anything? What? How does that even work? Actually, no, there's a $500 deduct deductible. I can't even talk today. There is a $500 deductible the rider, the renter has to actually pay. But bro, what if I give my keys to the guy and he doesn't ever return the bike, dude? Make sure you're handing the keys. Wow, the sun's got a lot brighter. All right, so my garage was open, so I'm hoping for the natural lighting to get me. So if the video got a little brighter, yes. Sorry about the sun's like glaring right now. Anyway, even better, more, more lighting. So like I was saying before, make sure you hand the keys to the correct guy. So let's say Bob comes here and like, hey, I was the one who ca uh, called you about renting your motorcycle. Make sure Bob is actually who Bob says he is. So you ask for his driver license number, ask for his cell phone number, you know, ask for a couple questions, make sure he's actually Bob. And a little personal tip, what I, what I like to do is with video cameras nowadays, you can record everything. So you might as well like pull out your phone and be like record like, you handing the keys to Bob and like take a picture of his driver license number. And you know, just like so you know who actually has your motorcycle. Cause you're literally handing the keys. He can never come back. So since you have his driver's license number and his phone number and all that, you actually know Bob is Bob and yeah. So anyways, a little personal tip. Bro, but what if, but what, but what, bro, I, I actually don't have any more questions, bro. So I guess you might as well, uh, I'm gonna sign up for rider share, bro. <laughs> Alrighty then, that's pretty much it. That's how you sign up for a rider share. Um, if you wanna make money, you rent out your motorcycle. It's super simple, super easy. It's like, it's literally self-explanatory. Go on to ridershare.com, check them out. It's a great, business i think personally it's gonna skyrocket like crazy in the next couple of years obviously a lot a lot of people are gonna be skeptical about it like i don't want to get my bike out to a certain person i don't want to do this i don't want to do this but the the way i view it if one person does it the trend will follow and more people will do it so this is me my motorcycle is up for rental right now if you want to rent it out you go ahead look in the link below ridershow.com search for my motorcycle but again you have to be in the houston area you can't be like from like California, but hey, bro, I want to rent your motorcycle. Can you ship it to California? No, you can't ship it to California. You have to meet up with a guy. So, if you're in the Houston area and you want to rent out my motorcycle, you're more than welcome to check it out. Oh, and by the way, it is Super Bowl weekend this weekend. So, if you're in the area for the Super Bowl in Houston, Texas, I live in Houston, Texas. Come check out my bike. Hit me up on my social media accounts. They're all linked down below. Feel free to hit me up, message me, call me. Don't call me because my cell phone number is not there. But message me. Do whatever you want. Another plane? So many planes in Houston, man. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> wait, wait till it passes by. Alright, so now that the plane's gone, I can go ahead and finish what I was saying. It is Super Bowl weekend down in Houston. Go ahead and come check out my motorcycle. Hit me up on social media. I'll actually ride to you if you want. Uh, I'm always all about meeting up my fans and my subscribers or even people who want to meet me up. I don't even care who you are. If you ride motorcycles or if you like motorcycles, go ahead and message me. I will be more than glad to come meet with you, talk to you, show you my motorcycle. Maybe even let you ride it if you want. Actually, no, I, I won't let you ride it. I'm very picky about who rides my bikes, but you can sit on it if you want. Get some, you know, get some, you know, sit time. I don't know. If you do the math, if you rent out your bike every single day for even like 50 bucks, that's, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. Let me do the math real quick. 50 times 365. If you rent out your bike every single day for a whole year for $50, you can make $18,250. I don't know about you, but I paid less for my bike as it is. So instead of letting your bike sit there and like go to waste, you might as well let someone ride it and make money off of it. So the way to make money off your motorcycle, the cheaper you list it for, the more people that will like buy it. So not buy it, but like rent it. So if you rent your motorcycle out for $50 and let's say 10 people come rent it out, that's $500 towards another aftermarket part you could do or even something else. So let's say you rent it out for $50 for 100 times. That's $5,000 you can make just by letting your motorcycle sit there. And I don't know about you, but I don't ride my bike every single day. So I went ahead and listed it on ridershare.com. If you want to rent it out, feel free to ridershare. Check them out. Haha. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more, click on the link below. Um, my accident video is linked below. My social media, everything. It's all just, that's like the description. It describes everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Check out ridershare.com. Peace. Bye.